Savera. Morning. Morning. Uh, and there's the prodigal son himself. Good morning, Glenn. Please don't tell me you've been staring out the window the entire fucking night. Just the morning. Yeah, no, okay. What were you doing at night? I bet not sleeping, probably. Empty space. We could have a party in here. Now that I've watered my plant, put it out in the sun, maybe it'll grow. There's stuff in the warehouse. I don't know if they're allowed to take it, but... What do you think? Renovate? Hmm? Add some things in here? It's, 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 it's very empty, isn't it? It is. It is quite empty. I mean, there's the rug, but I mean, what you gonna do with a rug? Get, um, you know what there would be space for? A whole fountain. You wanna put a fountain here? <laughs> There's enough fountains around the grounds already. I don't see what another one would do. I hate that you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. On that day, I threw giant boulders into the fountain right in front of the <clears throat> uh, auditorium. Oh. oh, that was nice. <laughs> I'm gonna head out, take a walk. See sure. you Mm. Why do I feel like he's getting up no good? It's Byron. What are you expecting? True. Mm. Mm. Well, it's about time to get something in me. For a walk first. Are you going to begin to travel? Mm, not that I know. Uh, well, I... Trouble is always easier to uh, explain away. There's a lot to uh, uh, no stress and feelings, but more or less, we're trying to be there for at the very least. I'm sure that is more or less what you have decided on trying. Ah, the chore that we always so get. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, great, the library. Shit, I we get this one a lot. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll get it later.
actually they did, so that works for me. So don't be bothered by me eating with my back towards you. I'm not bothered by I think it's underrated. Mm. Mm. I'm better. The triangular thing that goes on the moon. It's easy to pick up and eat, you know? Is freaking it. Yes. Oh yeah. But there is a there is a lot of what you describe here. Yes. Yeah, like pizza, and then there's, there's sandwiches, and then there's like uh, spaghetti. God, this just feels like a really weird coincidence. Let's see. Books. Organized books. Quick scan. At least. Any of the books that are not put away. Uh. What are these? Either I ate the deck. Did I see this? I think that downstairs.
It's right. Um, base attack. That's not right. That's a magic book. Up here. Oops. Hey, magic, magic. <laughs> Should check the upper level. Then I'll come back once the day is ending. See if anyone's moved anything up here. Um, I don't think about it. I don't think any of these are labeled. Never mind. I will go elsewhere. Like a grove, I guess. Yes, is looking at me? Good morning, madam. No. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, there's going to be some questions already. Can you ask me a question? We can hope. Okay. Patience is a virtue. Don't worry about it. Uh, hopefully, you don't mind uh, my little friend here, coming hang, sitting around with us, uh, Professor Mordred. I don't mind at all, doctor. All right. Everything's all right. done. Yes. Uh, Actually, quick question. Are the students allowed? Do you have these docs? Uh, as long as it's within the barrier. Yeah. Uh, like, do you have equipment? Morning, Ivy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Morning, Sadiq. Hello. Okay. Ahead and see you. Yes. Come on. Fancy meeting you here. Mm -hmm. Morning. these to get squished with the rock.
I saying that I should be near that docks? Yeah. Well, you have you have a proctor, uh, you have a supervisor with you, so it should be fine. Let's run. Let's, um, walk. I mean... I haven't even asked anyone else yet, but just in case, maybe I ask last minute and I don't have enough time to collect some. Well, I have these. Time to put them in a vase or something, keep them alive for now. Well, I could work on drying the petals and the actual flowers themselves, but that's only for ladder of bonds. Don't need them for the entire thing. Mm. None of the other ones use flowers. I've been identifying each letter with a flower petal. That's about it. Also the movie of now. Um I can work on drawing them tonight. I'll be fine. At least for the day.
I really think they're the best. I'm just trying to look out for her. Oh, so empty. You can always heal someone. You can well, also do hmm? Yes, of course. I mean, I mean, more efficient. But people that have healing abilities are more efficient than just healing potions. Perhaps. Just a minute. Whatever the plant later. seen very many people today. I'm honestly a little surprised. <sighs> I should check up on Ivy when I get the chance. It'd be good to have eyes on him. I just at least know that he's with someone trustworthy. I'm worried about him. With what happened the other day. No one knows what's going on. Jackson told me something, though, yesterday, when I was delivering the letter to Terra Dawn. I'm gonna face this fear. Speaking of... Gonna, this is probably gonna be the best way for me to do it. What was it? Something about the rats? Start... My 
reading about it. I feel like I'm just pacing at this point. I don't know where I need to go. Don't mind me, I'm just quickly doing a dump move. <laughs> Something about the rats, though. <laughs> don't mind me. I don't understand. Did they have a professor's note? Ah, not that. Oh, oh, Professor Mordred, good morning. Huh? How are you doing this damn morning? Yeah. Oh, oh, well, I'm back doing my dance moves. You're probably very impressed. <laughs> Professor Bellicosa did not look very impressed about it. <laughs> Thank you. Those people are back, I think. I'll just wait for announcements then. Another Viking, I think. Hmm. Interesting. To be honest, I shouldn't even be sitting here. I know announcements take a while. As a doctor,
haven't seen Sorely today. It's sweet work. Yeah, hey, girl. Uh, hello. Uh, I ran to school on the way here. I made it. I forgot about the teleporters. He may uh, be looking for you. Or anyone from Ignis. Uh, 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 well, we got one. So I kind of have it occupied. Just gonna, uh, gonna wrap. Oh. Doesn't oh. look as bad as the first time. Kind of ugly, isn't it? I, I, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be insensitive. Just. Good nice morning, Severe. I didn't swollen up as before. Hi. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Just doing good. Doing pretty good. I haven't seen you much since the event ended. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Lumen's well. It's, um, you might want to. It's um. Your teeth a little. I was just gonna stay. Lumen will be Lumen, I, I suppose. <laughs> it's an open wound, after all. Yeah. It seems like a lively bunch from what little I've seen. Um. Okay. Uh, or were you aware of the shipment in case you ordered anything? Yeah, I'm. I'm aware of the shipment. Good. Uh, probably this doesn't take too much longer. Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, uh, why are you always over here during the auditorium? I don't know. I guess it's just like a thorough. There's not a lot to do in the mornings, so. I just kind of sit and wait for announcements. Yeah. I have something to bite down on. Hey. Uh, well, if I you ever want to sit and actually have a conversation and just makes the time go by it. a little quicker, really I'm sure Aqua would not mind if you came and sat with us. Uh, I'll take it into consideration, thank you. No problem. Uh, see you around. With Aqua, have a conversation. As much as I want to make amends, as I'm sure I already have with Christopher, he still scares me. If you count in your life death experiences, then I think there's some other ones. This isn't as bad. Very strange. Very painful. The roots were regrowing. 
it was just these strange feelings. Oh, that's a good sign. I see. I'll have to see how you do in math. Looking forward to it, ma'am. <sighs> have you been coming to my illusions or not? I can't remember. Um. Uh, no, not that I know of. The bow eye. And it is a ex internal or external magic you have? Yep. Uh, internal, I believe. And who will be taking them where? Hmm. Oh, Alright then. The next in the next illusions Not lesson bad, I will be coming to it. Show me what yes, you've got. Looking forward to it. Good. Thank you. I feel as though that help Thank with you, uh, some of the emotional scars too, maybe, that comes with it. Of almost losing your hand. <laughs> I did, yes. Um, thankfully, it came on this bit treatment actually. Um, it uses it just a little bit. It's great. I'll probably be helping out Mordred with it a little bit later, maybe uh, after classes. Yeah. Thanks. Um, but I'll just go excuse myself while I have the time. Hey, um. Good call. When night hits, I want to talk to you. I'll, if you're in your dorm by then, I'll see you there. I don't know where else to go, but, you know, the whole rule and all, we get us in trouble that way. So, and don't do it at night time. That's why I'd say let's do it in your dorm. Once night hits. Sure, fine. Whatever. It's just a talk. Well, what happens to be larva? I'm still. She's right here. Uh, I don't know where Abdel is. Last time I saw Abdel. She's right here. Uh, right here. Oh. 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 Maybe if I just sink more into the chair, I'll become more invisible. They'll never find me here. <laughs> Uh, well, you guys I, are really terrible at finding me. Well, I, I didn't notice from your shore right. far. Ex fucking excuse me? It's already I'm difficult to find Lyra. I'm not short, you you're later. just too tall. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. You can continue, I'm not gonna. Never mind. I think the conversations has been ended. Well, hide is never really anything to be worried about. Being talking have its qualms as well. Yeah, tell me about it. It's very hard to swing the my to swing that goddamn thing while most of the time I uh, I have to live with the fear of it getting stuck somewhere. Hmm. No, it's true. For being tall, now do they? Uh, well, no, because I'm not that tall. Pretty average, apparently. I've been called I'm a not giant that short. Couple times. You okay? You? If it's fair, uh, you are. I guess. Uh, you're also. Uh, she's also kind of average, average, right? Yeah, I believe. I'd say. How tall are you? I. Name? No comment. <laughs> we are not going to that conversation. Got it. Um. If it's any consolation, hmm. I am the sh one of the smallest of my clan in terms of height. I would be absolutely mortified then to meet the rest of your clan. <laughs> my father's quite tall. <laughs> He's a. Uh, I can't remember the number, but he's up there certainly had to bend down when we're in certain buildings up there uh not that tall no no uh, that would be oh, okay. quite uh frightening <laughs> to be born from such uh, a height uh, i'm sure if the time comes no, we're ever in I that think... kind of position it'll be fine <laughs> he's roughly more around like 10 feet <laughs> That's very big. 
Yes, it's I'll try my best. startling. Oh. Hmm. I see that. Um. After all, I would, I'd rather not get in trouble. So. Though, so, if it means helping someone out, like a friend, or for defense and whatnot, well. I saw the Chancellor here. Aren't we gonna have. I mean, preferably not get in trouble, but the best way to Oh, well. I don't know. She split off from me once I went to, to go and drop off the crate. Well, I don't know exactly that what she is. That would be the best way to not get in trouble, huh? <laughs> well, at the same time, that's the hardest part about it, I would assume. Not getting in trouble. Oh, your arm. <laughs> You're scary. <laughs> <sorry. laughs> if you know the rules, then you'll know how to break them. I'll also want them all find the loopholes. Well, I don't know about you, but I would prefer not to break the rules. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it'd have to be extreme circumstances otherwise. I feel it's mm. fairly clear. Mm. I think it's fine, don't worry. Well, I don't know the context, so... I've been better. <laughs> I got more sleep, I did some sketches, I, I baked goodies, shot. which I hope you and your team liked. Oh. I mean, that's not what we're doing. Mm. We're it's, also it seems all the teams liked it. I'm really glad to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but I uh, I was just learning how to bake and stuff. Well, Tao was just the real day. baker. I know that. I have to provide a response to the prompt you did get. Though I don't know if we're having any sparring or training afterwards. I guess so. The classes, that is. Um, she also helped us too a lot. I actually have a match set up with Tel Karaz. They have a cookout. Mm. Oh, truly. Mm. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. We even had a little flower fight, just a little bit. I might have dotted their noses with the flower. Did you fall asleep? <laughs> you okay? As long as no damage was done. Mm. No, no damage at all. Fine, or is this a <laughs> fine but not fine? At least I don't think so. <laughs> no, um, I don't think so. I, well, I did mean to. Hello again. Mm. Hello again. Maybe I should. Maybe I should check. <sighs> mm. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Girls are quite trying to converse with. Of course! Hmm. I'll try talking to the actor. Hmm. Right. What have you been up to this morning? What do you, what do you think's gonna happen today? <laughs> I took a good walk. Not much else. Although, I haven't been to a class yet. I actually got to participate in so it'll be You a haven't been to a class? Well, the one class I did get to go to was the one with Professor Falco, and mm. what happened to tell that day I was the one that was stuck taking care of him for a while. Are those the same people from before? <gasps> Wait. Wait, what happened? Yes, actually. <laughs> I thought they looked familiar, yeah, just wasn't sure. You, uh, you already had the class before us, and that was the last class. And they still have the same need. Although I'm not sure if they'll be leaving oh, quite so quickly this class. time. Yeah. Well, oh, remind me, what was it they were looking for? Mm, help repairing Aether Tech uh, armament. Took a drink. Gotcha. Something that our uh, Ivy might have some expertise in. I imagine you're not supposed to drink that. You're not. It has a very high alcohol content. So wait, what happens if you drink it? Hey, Sephira. Morning. Morning. Uh, what? What do you mean by plastered? Oh, are you talking about Tilkaras? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. 
the um I'm surprised you know when someone started yet, I'll be honest. I guess that's just me being impatient though. Intoxicated. Depending on the person, raising body temperature, it basically, you, it's poison that you're consuming. Not a dead person, but still makes your body react to it. That sounds not good. I was going to say interesting, but that doesn't sound like a good thing. Some people have more intolerance to it than others, and for most, Fuzzy? And yet, if you're saying it's pleasurable, th people enjoy this? How does this always happen? So he was intoxicated and much. you were still keeping an eye on him. How how did he act? I remember multiple distinct things. He kept going on about aloe vera. He gained a fear of chairs with no back to them. Um he got very <laughs> he got a few cheers. They were in the middle of a conversation. It would probably not be a good time to end. It sounds a little bit funny, actually. No, no, I don't think I need to for it. You should go talk to him about Ava there. I, think well, I don't know any I don't know anything about aloe vera though. What would I say? Were you not in the class? I was in the class. I did take notes, but my memory's a little fuzzy about it. Aloe vera is a kind of plant, although they simply call them aloe. It usually grows in. I guess you could say. I don't know what class it was yesterday. You know, Miss Delacota offered to uh, They're used yeah, to yeah, help create the bones. So Although, well, you can use it to apply to the bones. It would still work. Oh. That's what they were doing in class. And the moment that he heard the word aloe, he latched onto it, and he went on about it for hours, from what I heard. Huh. Huh. Oh. I wonder if I could get some aloe from Dr. Falcor's office and kind of give it to him. I think it'd be better. Sounds like it'd be fun. <laughs> I wonder if Dr. Falcor would lend me some, though. I'm not sure what his doctor looks like, but I still have to get to him with Dr. Roger. Mm. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if it was just like, you know, a little, like, tiny scoop, just, just a smidge. Mm. Mm. But I'm talking about a plant, not about it in its clean form, I guess you could say. Do you think that he has the actual plant? I don't know. Once again, I haven't looked at his stock of supplies. Not yet. Oh. That'd probably have to require actually looking into his stuff, though, which I don't think I'd be allowed to do. Oh, I have an idea, though. Let me know. Well, say Dr. Falcor doesn't lend me the aloe vera plant, I can do a sketch of it. You must really like aloe vera, huh? Sounds like a mission. <laughs> I can't wait for that. I'll just need to see how it looks like. If you can do that for me. 
I would not. I would not like yes. <laughs> to see you getting hurt. By the way, out of RP, I don't think I didn't know what she, I didn't see what she did, uh, but sitting here. Shut up. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm going to go and well, help the best I can. And I can handle myself in a fight. Especially when we talk about breaking the rules. My rats can be any tougher than a fool. Uh, I don't know a lot about there's a lot more than just one polar bear. Huh? Oh. Exactly. It's not and you're gonna be fighting on their turf. A lot more. Did you just say it's fighting a bear? A lot is what I heard. Oh my god. Died. I do not want to hear anything about that. that I, what I, heard about I still bear. trying to no fight a high bear. Well, yeah. I still remember when I actually saw that bear. Still My team and I saw, and it was huge. And then we saw the other team was going after us, so we were just like, mm, minor healing. No, and no. We went for a boar instead. It's worth the working. Before, not serious. you know. What? Why would you go after yeah, a hobbit? I, I don't know. More that was the first time I ever even anything. saw a bear, and it was huge. I mean, I know I'm small, but that was really, really big. Like, I think big even for you guys. What would happen if I rode a bear? I would be queen of the forest. I think you would have to be very careful about that. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, you'd have to be very careful. But if, I would, I would never actually do it. But imagine how cool that would look. A of a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's on a bad mood right now. I think it's on her period. But we'll, we'll see. Well, maybe it could work similarly to how I help calm down other animals. One way to an animal's heart is okay? their stomach, from what I've seen. That's not um, what all of us work. Yeah, yeah. I know, but it would be at least one thing I could try. I, but it's... I can carry my own books. You see yeah, what yeah, happens when you over butter. butter. Oh, we should probably go to that. Cool. Bye. Mm. I'll see you later, butter. Tiana. That was your. That was. Um. Oh. 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 Christopher shows in time. Papa. What happened to him? He's also not here. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Um. Okay. Just watch your spear a little. Uh, but, oh. Uh, uh, wait, Aqua. Sorry. Slowly turning. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it does. Ellie, anyone here? <sighs> Morning. Morning, my friend. Tenebris, where's the rest of your team? Uh, Jack is recovering from some injuries from uh, uh, sparring a couple of days ago, and Krista was right behind me. Why have you heard so many people? Krista's late. Caleb's late. A, uh, Three quarters of Ventus is late. So. Why do you have all the people at night? There is a dark well. catch on the flag, too. We're not sure what it is. Ventus! Yes, ma'am. You're already late. I'd suggest you not talk when I'm trying to start announcements. Yes, ma'am. Mm, Hello, yes, students. We will be starting off with team sorting. I'm sorted. You know the drill. If you've been offered a spot, come up. Hmm. Oh. oh fuck you. There's Cresta. There she goes. Vivian. Ivian. Cecilia. Good on you, girl. What team? Cecilia. Indeed. Isaac. <laughs> Cecilia. No. Are you ready to be part of Team Stella to work with all members of the team and to work through any trials? Mm or tribulations that being part of that team may bring. It's an interesting development. I am. Isaac, I, 
you and your team ready to welcome this member into your ranks, to all work together as a unit, and to face those trials yes, and tribulations head on. Yes, ma'am. Then welcome Cecilia to Team Stella. Yuko. <laughs> what team? Umbra. Run up. Is your oh, team captain here today? Good job, Dodo. I'm afraid he's still you. sleeping. Congrats, Cecilia. Thank you. Apologizing to you, this will have to be delayed. Mm. Seems to be a running thing. <sighs> oh. Now then, there will be no further sorting until this round of classes is over. Remaining unsorted, divide yourselves amongst the teams. This will be your team for the remainder of the week. Yes, ma'am. Go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Now then, today is, like I mentioned before, classes. It will be divided as follows. Aqua and Stella, you will be with Professor Bombadil. Terra and Ventus, you will be with Professor Reiner. Ignis, Lumen and Umbra, you will be with Professor Bellicosa. You have ten minutes to get to class. You're all dismissed. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's good to see you. You guys are temporary members. Of course. Oh, well, I look forward to working with you for the week. Oh, if I haven't said it already, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Please wait outside. I'm not holding the lesson here today. go wait by the arena, that would be marvellous. <laughs> to the arena. Except for you, Abdel, you may wait for your team. Yeah.
quiet. Hey, Rena. Do you have any clue what we're going to be doing today? Um, I would guess, since we're in the arena, it would be some team tactics or something related. Right. What is team- what is- uh, like, um... Your guess is as good as mine. Team building. <laughs> I mean, team you building, got some interesting- I mean, we might go over some things on the billboards again, or something totally different. I know we learned formations a while back, but I don't know if they would go over them again. So, um, my, uh, my dagger came in today. Oh, that's good. Yeah, actually, maybe it's with each other. Is it we did the, wars last time. Is it, it like, similar or different? Split up into two teams. It's actually, um, teams. youth attack. Oh. Surprisingly. Um, Very interesting. I them to carry it out, but, um, yeah. Been desperate to get my hands dirty on some new projects soon, but uh, yeah, huh, well. should be done by uh, next 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 week. Hope not. Next <laughs> tomorrow. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I do <didn't> even. <laughs> I have got to take a piss. Can you guys like, if somebody asks, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Wait. Which team are you with for this week? How? how Umber. Uh, or, um, what's the mission? Uh, with you, I guess. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was looking forward. Uh, it didn't go bad, <laughs> but let's move something. Um, yeah, I can't go any, any longer, guys. I'm gonna have to drop, drop off. Alright, All that's fine. Have, have a good one. Alright, wait, Sam. Um, I'll go see if I can find Mordred for you. Oh. I wonder if we're doing just basic combat or doing magical combat. 
I hope we're not hoarding boar again. That's, that's quite a task. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the hoarding type. No hurting. Um, so I just want to quickly, um, please keep an eye on, um, Ivy and please. Yeah. He, um, ah, Jesus! <laughs> you don't have <laughs> to say something that's already been said. I, well, well, I, okay, well, I didn't know that. Because I, like, when I was talking to him, he kind of, like, started walking towards the basement. So I got a bit concerned. Just... Yeah. Hey, you go, I think. I'll keep an eye on him. I've been keeping an eye on Avian. You think? Yeah. You forgot yeah, me not, already? I, I can never... Uh, no. I have no fucking idea what your uh, player name is pronounced half of the time. I think that's well, getting on a team at least. Thanks. You don't I'm seem to be worried about, about Kai it. now. No, I'm thrilled that I'm just worried about Kai. Why? I don't know, I'm just kind of giving off that something happened vibe. And... Everyone stand to attention. Every single person here gives off this something happened vibe. Oh. No. Except maybe the little blue one. Ha, ba, 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 ba. Oh, let me go to the back. Fine, but everything else... Oh, it seems people then you're are not very oh, observant. Right. Congratulations, <sighs> Amy. Oh. Yeah, I mean... I suppose Stel's not here yet. He doesn't... Oh. He... Might have been... Lux. Well, you want to go talk to the Chancellor, but I don't know if he'll be oh, coming here. I think he'll be excused if that's the case. Hmm. Well then, <laughs> Professor Felicosa has kindly offered her assistance to me in summoning a illusionary creature. As a su substitute for Professor Rayner yeah. today, I'll be teaching you guys the classification of rift beasts. These aren't refeeds themselves, but these are to help represent them and help you understand what they might be in the future. Professor Bellicosa, if you may. That's just a Thank you, Morgan. It's just an illusion. Oh. 
Take sketches. Good. You require the mm. arena. Mm. And Are you planning on using it? Mm. No, I'll be alright. I hope it's. I, I hope it doesn't fade fast. Thought of that would be everything. Thank you again, Professor Bellico. No worries. Remember what you've just watched, it will be helpful in my lesson. Now the rest of us, let's go. Follow me. Is she just staying there? Uh, I suppose. Sorry about that, I had to fill in for Raina and spawn in some beasts. Or, oh, well, a single beast. This way. Mm. At least I got a cool sketch of that before we left. I'll take notes later on that. I wonder where we're headed. Not sure. Just a bit of a walk. All right. You're keeping up? Yeah. Alright, All right. I was hoping to do the arena, but I'm going to have to go somewhere else, if you don't mind. That is, okay. Wonder what we're doing then. I did think it was gonna be something with the team. Is this all of you? I assume so. It seems yes, to be. Raise your hand for me if you have internal magic. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Lower it. Raise your hand if you have external magic. I'm learning. I'm going to be. Well, it's still having the magic, so you may raise your hand. Alright, now raise your hand if you know how to manage that magic. Hmm. Alright. So, two of you. That's not good enough. Who knows what the basis of magic is? Where it comes from? Um. There we are. Go on, Zugu. I believe it's from one's soul. Exactly, and more so than the others. With internal magic, it is literally your soul that you're borrowing prana from. It's in the marrow of the bones, and it flows ever throughout. But with external magic, it's a little bit more complicated. You're borrowing from things around you. Now, who knows what prana is? And what magic it belongs to. Raise your hand if you know. Alright, well, it's mm. internal. Prana oh. is internal, and mana is external. Oh. If you have it's that so. sort of magic, you should know what kind of you use, right? Oh. Well, yes. yeah, I didn't understand the question, sorry. Mm. Okay. Yes, this is a little difficult. I don't have my classroom, so I'm going to have to improvise sort of this lesson and try and explain my best without just randomly talking at you. All right. The best I can explain it is how I use internal magic. Come first if you can't hear. I don't know if you can hear me back there. But within one's body is a magic flow or prana mana flow. It will follow from your tips of your fingers, through your arms, from your head to your spine, down to your toes. It's ever flowing, it's effervescent, it's constant. But you, you can deplete that source. With every spell you cast, you draw in all of that prana or mana built inside of you, and you expel it. And that's how you create spells. But when you use all of that up, that's dangerous. It's death. And with internal users, it's more than just death. Like Zuku said before, it comes from the soul. It will destroy your very soul if you use it unwisely. Now, I'm going to show you an example of how I cast one of my biggest spells and the amount of prana it exhales on the world. Just so you can understand how I will regain that once I've lost it all. So if you're ready, stand back, and I'll show you how I do it. So. I ground myself. I think hard on what spell I want to use. I'll feel it in my hands. I'll focus on it on my brain. Think of it. I imagine it in the world. And I regain myself. I let all of the prana flow through me. To my hands, to my palms, my fingertips. I even let it reside in the tips of my nails. And thus I'm able to create something like this. With the full focus working in turn with my body. For you all, I can imagine that must have been weird to see, but that took a lot of prana 
If you imagine yourself trying to cast a single fireball and how much prana you'd need to cast that single fireball, imagine how much I just had to use. Now I exuded all of that prana out on the world. I no longer have hold of it. So I have to do something in order to regain it all. And other people have different methods for it. Internal users stick to more religious type of things like praying or meditating, singing, writing poems, that sort of thing. External users may That's why go to potions, but okay, change. potions are the lazy the way out. Prana. They don't last that long, they're a quick fix. I want to show you how you can do it in a proper way. So, we're going to meditate today. It may seem boring, but there's a technique to Ooh. it, you see. A technique that follows all that mana and prana flow through your bones and your fingertips. Does anyone have any places they find particularly peaceful? Raise your hand no. if you do. Hmm. Yes, there you go. Uh, the little grotto over there with the waterfall. Hmm. Alright, the grotto. Anyone else? Yes? Well, normally where I can find sands, but I found the spot very peaceful. Okay. Anyone else? Yes? A graveyard. The graveyard. That's interesting. Anyone else? No. Right. Well, fair enough. We usually reside ourselves in spots that seem particularly comfortable. We're drawn to them, whether it's because it inflicts an emotion in ourselves or because it seems very inviting. And that's good. That's what you want. That's what you want to find when you're going to meditate. It's a place that will make you feel whole again. So, for today's lesson, however, I think we'll try the grotto near the waterfalls, but the graveyard is a very good suggestion. Alright, let's head there. Keep up, everyone. I'll just let everyone catch up. <laughs> Unfortunately, this lesson is going to be quite short and boring, as I needed my classroom today, but it's alright. I'll work with what I've brought. Oh gosh, what are they chatting about? For those of you who are new or haven't had a lesson with me before, you may not know what these red trees are. These red trees here are mana trees. They're so old and ancient that they're interconnected with the earth, that they proceed to grow and give off their own mana. They're usually good places to meditate as they'll seep into your skin as you lay there and pray, but we're not going to use these today. But feel free to test it out. Just around the corner. Hmm. 
Climb up on the rock. Get comfy. Listen to the water. Come on. Certainly is peaceful. Feel free to sit down or stand however you might feel most comfortable. I suppose the squad. <laughs> As I told the others, find a place, get comfortable. You may, sit, you may stand, crouch, I don't care. Right. Can you hear me over there? I'm alright. Yes, Take a moment to get connected to where you are. Listen to the water, the sounds around you, the cold stone beneath you. People surrounding you feel grounded. And once you feel grounded, proceed to enter your mind. Is it empty? Is it full of thoughts? Or is it both? A mixture? Constant fizzling and fizzling off of ideas and thoughts, memories. What comes to mind? What doesn't come to mind? Focus on yourself. Now imagine that you're the only one here. Imagine that this rock is big and empty, and you're the only one sat here. It's just you, the ground, and this waterfall. The sound of silence, yet the sound of water. Now, I want you to imagine a ball of light. It's warm, and it's fuzzy. It feels tingly wherever it resides. And this ball of light has started at the bottom of your spine. And you can just feel it sitting there, swelling and heating up. It doesn't get much bigger, but you feel it's there. And the more you focus on it, you notice it starts to trickle up each vertebrae of your spine, slowly towards your neck. And there it resides once more. It feels warm, but this time it vibrates, almost like a small massage. It tickles the hair on the back of your neck, and then splits to each shoulder blade. There it resides once more on your shoulders, and the ball of light glows even brighter. It becomes even warmer. And then it flows through the arm, straight down the inside of your bones. It makes you so conscious that they're there. And then finally, the ball of light falls upon your palms. It glows. It feels warm. It tingles. It it yet feels numb. It feels hot. Then, it slowly fades. Into the tips of the fingers. And away into the air. And drifts off. That is the journey your prana or mana needs to make to rejuvenate itself. To heal the vessels in which it carries your magic. Now slowly, open your eyes and regain where you are in the world. Come back to where you are, sat among people, upon the cold rock, in front of the running water. For some, that method is enough to heal or to bring back all that prana on such a spell I just used. But for others that may not work and you need to find other methods. Your task is to find what works for you and journal it. 
document it and find out what works for you. And then tell me about it, because I'm curious. I want to know. I want to find out what works for you and what doesn't. And thus, we can make sure you're practicing your spells. Now, let's see. Zuku, how did that feel for you? Uh, well, it was the warm feeling that you mentioned, and uh, it's hard to explain. It felt very uh, calming, and it's like all the stress that I had went away for that amount of time. Good. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to disconnect from the world so that you can connect back to yourself and help heal what you've once lost. Right. Lyra, tell us about your experience. Well... I was focusing as much as I can. <laughs> and at first, didn't really hear my thoughts and I felt something starting to form, <laughs> but then thoughts started coming to my head, and, and it, I lost it. That's alright. That just means you need to find other methods that suit you. Alright, we'll have one more. Anyone want to volunteer? Natal, you looked at me. Go on. Tell us how it was for you. Uh, <laughs> It was like being approached by a blockade that I had to cut on through in order to experience some slight degree of peace within myself. I couldn't describe mm. it as truly calming. If anything, I think the time alone with myself just makes my thoughts stronger. Interesting. Well, thanks for sharing. Mm. So... It's important that you, one, find a location specific to yourself. Perhaps it is a graveyard that makes you reflect. Think about that that you've lost or that that you have gained. The waterfall, maybe the, the white noise or the brushing water helps cancel out your thoughts. Or somewhere even more peaceful, like a tree or a beach. Somewhere where you can be alone and secluded. Perhaps then you can be one with your thoughts. The, th the second thing is why you want to be doing this in the first place. What's the importance of bringing back your mana or prana? Why you're here at this academy? Why it's so important that you improve yourself? And why you need to perfect this? And third thing... But that's for you to discover. I can't tell you it because you have to discover it for yourselves, but after successful meditation, something will happen to you. And once it does, document it, write it down, and tell me how it goes. The task for the rest of the lesson is to discover those three things. You may not be able to successfully meditate today, but you can make a start. I'll bring you back to my lesson when I have my board. It won't be today, it may be another day, just to explain how the mana flow works or the magic flow works in your body. And we'll be able to complete this lesson. But for now, unfortunately, you're all dismissed as this is all I can do for now until I get my classroom back. So, find out those three things. That's your task. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If you have any questions, come to me with them. I was just going to ask, um, if any, for any examples of things I could try? In what You were listing off a few earlier. <laughs> Well, for, you said oh. if, some, if meditation didn't work, well, for others, some things like singing or whatnot yes, can of help. Of course, there's singing. There's singing poetry, 
praying. Uh, Anything that people... can put you in a mind of relaxation. Oh, of course. If you don't mind. Just meditating is easier. And I may be going to the beach. <laughs> I might find it a bit Thank easier you. there. In the water is quite noisy. <laughs> Popped my hip so doing that. Can <laughs> <over your> <laughs> that. <laughs> I've been wanting to try and figure this out for a while, so... <laughs> <laughs> I really needed that lesson. Uh, it's been a crash introduction because I've not had my classroom, but I'm going to Ooh. advance this more with you a little later. I can't wait, but at least this was a good start for me. Guess what's that? We never did have a conversation. Don't want to push it out of it now. Probably doesn't even want to talk about it anymore. Well, that hurts. No. What are they doing over there? Oh, what? Um, they, they, they all did that, right? Uh, I'm assuming, unless I'm seeing things again. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it too, um... I'm, I'm sure Professor Bamdil has, a uh, some sort of, uh, jumping potion, um, I hope. Yeah, I hope oh. so. Sorry, that's just... I wasn't expecting to walk out and see people jumping off the cliff. <laughs> Me either. Hmm. After you. Thank you. Are you feeling any better? Um, you can say that. Mm. Okay.
You could say that. But what does it mean? That's like not a yes, but it's not a no either. Not a maybe. You could say that. It's better in a way. I just want to know what's going on with my teammate. He said he was suspected to be a seer, but... I can't help but feel anxious. He is seeing things. I thought it was just sleep, but now I'm starting to believe him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hope she's alright. Maybe it's another bandage change for her hand. Places to meditate. I mean, I thought that spot over there was pretty nice. I think my only issue with this is that there's... It's a right by pathway. Second option was the campfire though, so I guess that's not any different. It's quite literally in the middle of all the dorms. Balcony is alright when I'm not allowed to go out at night. 
a lot easier to see the stars in there. But... I guess being outside would be a lot easier. Even the campfire might be easier, but I think it's covered by trees. I'm not doing training. I guess glasses aren't out yet. Always oh, sparring near nightfall. Again. There goes it. Well, it goes. But, uh, not much to say about that. How goes it with you? Mm, not much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Something's off with him. going to get food in real life or else I'm going to throw up. So I apologize for the cut you're about to see. He's in a hurry. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> 
I barely said a word to her all day. I'm gonna go say hi. Evening. Yeah. Sorry, just wanted to say hi. I haven't spoken to you yet today. Oh. Hello, um, actually, I have a question. Um, um, sure. Did you happen to leave something on Stella's doorstep? I might have. I asked. Uh, well, that sounds like a yes to me. <laughs> <laughs> Reaches into her pouch. Pulls out the trinket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you make this? Yeah. Um. There's not a lot of materials on the island. I would have used something better, but that's what was here. Mm. It's lovely the way it is. Thank you. Gotcha. Thanks. So. It goes on the wall, but kind of wanted to place this one on my pouch. Would that be breaking the rule? There's no real rules, it's just something my teacher back in Blintz taught me. You can do whatever with it. Well, I will cherish it forever. <laughs> Thank you. I've not received very many gifts, and this one is very special. Well... I'm glad you think so. Of course. Were you heading anywhere in particular? No, I was just coming from my dorm after resting after class. That was... I didn't really have any plans after this. Which class did you have? Oh, we had a uh, Bellicosis class. Mm. And what is that about? Um, it was really just... Meditating, figuring out prana, mana stuff. Mm. Well, Balmadil's gonna make you jump off a cliff, so have fun with that one. Ah, yeah, I saw a bunch of people jump hey, off. Uh, Shuttleier? Yes. Um, Isaac was looking for you. Where Sorry for you? interrupting. Uh, last time I saw him, he was in the uh. Near the main building, he may be somewhere else now, though. Right. Well, I guess I have somewhere to be now. Well, thank you for the well, gift. Of course. Hmm. I will see you around then. I hope so. I'm supposing Duke is going off to find out a character. I made her smile. I made her smile. <laughs> I'm going to go to the gazebo and fix my leg. Because it's doing something funny. I don't know why. I'll let you be on your way. I'm glad you're okay, though. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to fix my leg. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> Just binge. Probably from me walking around to go get food. IRL. Not in Rosewood. I messed up my tracker. So we are going to go over here and recalibrate. There we go. That's more like it. Wow. It hurts to look in all directions. Why 
compared to <clears throat> I suppose library is always a good option Did, did you see where? Uh, uh, supposedly this way. Ran back out this um, way. Thanks, Nathaniel. I, I appreciate it. Deep breath. It's gonna be okay. It's all right. It's all right. <clears throat> Promise. Let's look for spots to meditate in. Huh. Wait, let me go see if it works in there. Oh. I did not run into the bookcase. Humor me for a moment. Oh. I think I died so thing tell, I feel like my life is slightly more dangerous than it was before. <laughs> well, I said in either case. Never mind. Who knows? Well, there's something was. You know.
There's a nice spot, I will admit. I much prefer this side, though, compared to the other side. Better view. And I can see where people are coming from. The odds of someone sneaking up behind me over here, kind of... Well, most people have already made their way up to the observatory. Now, if people are headed up there, I can see where they're coming from. I'm glad so I really liked it though. I needed to distract myself and I remember those little charms. I don't know if they actually work, I think they do. But if I can let my creative energy flow then I'm sure it'll up in some way. Well meditating does help too. It's nice to have other options. Last I saw Ivy in with Krista. He'll be okay. I trust him. I don't know if he's doing any better. Never got a chance to ask him if he was alright. He sounded upset. I'm sure he can hold his own.
Third person. It is. What's that? Did they fall? I don't think so. It almost looked like it though. Oh, I just need myself in the face. Standing at the spine, handing at the fingertips. It's 
like a wave. Almost. A very small wave. A wave that doesn't crash down. How goes it? It goes. Um, everything alright? You seem to be in a hurry. I've... I've been, and I think it was Lara from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, Terra were looking for Nora, and they were headed in the direction of the dorms. Um, well, I haven't seen her that way. Eleonora. Why are they looking for her? Oh, that's none of my business. <sighs> I'll always be curious, though. Oh, if I see her, I suppose I will tell. Tell her. Practice that. That's what I did as a little girl. I would run around the sand and make tracks and turn back. Oh, he's listening in on that.
for feather falling, as the young people say. Oh. Okay. I've I've never known such a technique to be put into potion, but I am familiar with it. Let's see. How does this work? So I thought I lost. It's now connected to the the arm. But does it like mimic the sound and like the same way you move your fingers, does it send those waves the same way or do the waves go to it first? Does that make sense? Considering it's not necessarily connected to my shoulder. It's... I mean, it is. Kind of. But the actual chest piece... Is connected to my other shoulder. And then... When my spine ends... That's where it's actually connected to my physical body. I wonder if it's mimicking what it used to know. The spine makes sense. The spine's not supposed to move. Like it can move, but not very much. And that's fine. It was made that way so that I didn't break anything. Keep my spine from shrinking. More than it already has. So then... If it's powered by Aether Tech, but my arm isn't... That's why I can cast magic through it. Then it's connected to my nerves. Right? Does that make sense? I don't know anything about this stuff. Kind of like if I were to bend. Fire? If I were to bend my arm. All I need to do is move it back. And it locks. Same goes for my fingers. The only real thing I'm controlling is these. It's part of my arm. That gets the rest of it to move. It's like the strings inside. Pull it down, kind of like the strings in your fingers. It's like muscle memory. So then, how does the eye work? I suppose it would be like connecting. It would be like connected to my optical nerves. It's kind of like the same way the pupil works. That's how this eye works. Except there's more taggy stuff inside my head, keeping my skull back together. Thus, keeping my brain safe and keeping me alive. Does that make any sense? I don't know, that's what the doctor's told me. And what this book is telling me. But I know not every model is the same. God, I need to get glasses or something. It's always so blurry. I don't know. Let's put this back.
downstairs. Downstairs. Speak with you in private for a moment. Let's get a closer. Of course, we'll soon have clarified to that hotel room. Then. Let me go downstairs. It's good to check things that you know, like in the afternoon as well, right? Especially after a, a, a long session of doing nothing. A more afternoon, Miss Savira. Afternoon. Anyways, where were we? Uh, heading towards that red tree and just off the edge. So, Vera, hmm? if you have time later tonight, I would like to talk to you. Sure. Thank you. What? Thank you, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Let <laughs> me walk through the forest. Oh, 
not nightfall then. I guess I'll be waiting outside of my dorm again. I should go water my plant at least before I go back into the forest. Yeah, let's let's do that. What has it been like? Um, this is like twenty slash twenty one. That's that's how many sessions it's been. It's technically technically been twenty one at least for me because I did session zero point five, which is optional. So I've been listening to this song for twenty one weeks, which is like what four months. <laughs> I think we're running on five. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Back into character. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, right. I put it on the balcony. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Bring you back to life. <laughs> what a Probably just a little bit. I didn't have a lot this morning, so I don't need to give you too much now. Normally I don't water you twice a day. But because I didn't have enough water this morning, I had to go get more. And I should probably honestly refill my bottle now. I can take a trip when I go back into the forest. Alright, there you go. <sighs> Little yarrow plant that I healed. One day you will not wilt. I should probably tell Tao that I brought the plant back, but it's wilting. Maybe he knows more about plants than I do. I've done my fair share of research since coming to the school, though. Except for soap what I brought from home. Just remedy I learned when I was out and about. Outside of Flint. So, up into the forest. What time is it? Alright, let's go up into the forest. And then get water. Probably come back. Probably be sunset by then. Because I need to talk to Christopher, apparently. <sighs> Genuinely curious as to why Byron is behind Ignis. Surely it would be faster to take the path. I should keep an eye on him.
do love this place. It's so strange, I always see forests like these in photos and in writing. They don't have forests like these in the city. Granted, I've, I've seen forests like these, it's just, it wasn't very often back home. They kept me busy for sure. And I mainly saw fields. Since that was where my teacher held her classes. In the schoolhouse in a field. And the forests over there certainly don't look like this. Very nice. May the light guide you home, and may the light have found you. Enjoy the moments of here. Oh, it's just like a cliff looked onto the pathway. Small dip. Don't want to fall down at that. I might sprain my ankle or something. Um, he seems like he's in a hurry. Is he alright? wonder where he's running. Something didn't go wrong, did it? Uh, seems like he would be running in a different direction if something went wrong. This is not the quickest way to the dorms. It's like one big loop. It's incomplete, but... It does loop. And there's a teleporter over here. No reason why he wouldn't have taken it. I'm sure he's fine. I think that water over by the waterfall is much cleaner than the water I've been gathering at the pond. So I will go back there. Or at least buy a different waterfall. And get water there. Might be just too steep, actually.
I fill my time with? to start downloading my own music. You guys are probably tired of hearing Rosewood's theme. Quote unquote theme. <laughs> Where to? I wonder if they ever found Eleonora. I think they did. I saw them sitting at the main building. Let's go to the map room. Maybe somewhere else. Got someone up there. Byron, maybe I can talk to him. Why is my team? <laughs> they are not this hard to find. I know Grim's gone to bed. I said they were going to the bathroom, but they, I think they weren't feeling well, so they. Went to sleep. Maybe I can get a higher look. Um, can I check over here. Don't want to go too far. And I don't want to step in there because last time I did, I got stuck. Where's my team? Well, that's no use. Map room. Windows I can actually see out of. No. Where's my team? I just want to talk to Byron. <laughs> no particular reason. But God, it feels like I haven't spoken to him in a long time. Maybe we can have tea up at the fire while I wait for Christopher or something. Like half the time I spend these days looking for them. Or for other people in general. Oh, campus is quite big. Okay, guess I'm going to the dorms.
control is that? Okay, fine. Let's... Unplug this one. To plug in my hip. Oh, that's down. I still have that glass in my pocket, too. I'll have to get rid of that soon. I don't need it anymore. This might take a minute. I'm assuming he's sparring or something. Those trees. Prana and Mana, right? Or is it just Mana? Interesting. She 
definitely said Nana, but I mean animals and the blades of grass have Nana too, or is it just specific to those trees? So really they think the living thing have Nana. Just based off of how it works, it seems like that would make sense. the top of my head. I genuinely can't tell who is who in Aqua because I have like all the blonde boys. <laughs> blonde boys in blue uniforms. I can't tell who is who from a distance. Like I think that's Yorl, but I might be wrong. Lyra's talking to them. It might be Avi, actually. Or oh, Christopher. That's literally all of them. I can't tell who is who. <sighs> well, if one of them's there, then they all must be there, right? I think that's Ovi. I see the tail. Ah, uh, definitely Ovi. So Cecilia and Stella. I guess it's not that surprising, but it seems like everyone else wanted to avoid her. 
She was bound to end up somewhere. Must have been Isaac's doing. He is the leader. Oh well. I mean, Lumen doesn't want her. I can have her. Fill up my time with thinking. I didn't see Jackson today. Tenebris said he was sick. Do you hope you found my letter alright after all we did talk? I literally put it down right in front of the door before we started talking. So, I'm sure you saw it. Not sure about Byron though. Well, I was just talking about Tenebris in my head, speak of the devil and he shall appear. not happen. Also, where is Byron? Oh my god. Got me impatient, but I haven't seen him like all day. Very briefly, sometimes. Like, in the auditorium, or crossing the bridge. But we haven't actually stopped to talk in what, four days? Three? I don't know. Does seem to be a bit all. Hello? Can I speak? Does seem to be a bit lonely without him. Around to keep me company for tea. Though. I suppose that is also. None of my business as to what he's up to. Regardless of if I'm leader of Lumen. I don't like what he was doing behind Ignis, though. That's suspicious.
wonder if something's going on. We had like everyone's out tonight. What is he running off to? Uh, what? Oh, I thought that was Isaac. <laughs> Lux? Perhaps. We 
weird. What is that? What in the world? Why is everyone running around so much?
Did he just jump? <laughs> oh no. I have... Come back to me. something that I want to give to you, but I need to ask you a favor. Um, okay. I'll be back in five minutes. Um, Don't move. Oh. So, Vera. Christopher. Do you have a moment, wherever you'd like? Um, I do, but I'm waiting for Sorely to return. She told me not to move. It is all right, um, I just needed a quick favor. Mm -hmm. I can ask something like that. You still have prana for today? Yeah. You'll notice his hand is bandaged and slightly bleeding. Could you help me out? Um, yeah, could I pull you into the I don't want the burial knowing. Sure. No sure. One's in there. sure. It's fine. Alright, then it's fine. Just Please. don't want to ruin any of your reputation with your team. I'm not exactly well liked on your team. I know. Um, I'm sure, this will be quick. Well, aware that I can say it in a bit, but please can come inside first. Are you aware that Ivian? has moments where he apparently spaces out. Yes, I'm aware. Um... Just making sure I overheard it in conversation. Yeah. I know. Already worried about him. If you'd like, I can keep an eye on him. Um... You don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Um... 
Oh, headache. Can I see your hand? This is gonna sting a bit. I can't use my magic before I actually clean it. Right, I'm sure it would sting. Hmm. I'm quite resilient to pain. Uh, sorry. I understand. Headaches. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I can help you with this by slightly moving over here well, so you don't have to look that way. That did help, thank you. I have an inkling on what's causing the headaches, but I'm not 100% certain. Ah, gotcha. But it is definitely something around the graveyard. Ah, oh, okay. Um, um... Hello, Ivian. Um, do you need anything else? No, that'll be it. Thank you. Alright. Anytime. The door is always open. Thank you. You both have a good evening. Ivian. Uh, okay. He's in there, don't worry. Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. Laugh at me again. Asshole. It's fine. Um. I made this. Um. It's probably gonna be really bad. <laughs> but I need you to taste test it. Okay. Um. Sure. Can I come in? Yeah, you can come in. Um, here, I'll get some doll for you. I'm sorry, I have a headache every time I look in this direction. <laughs> you can come in. <laughs> come in. <laughs> you mean think about it? I'm so scuffed right now, sorry. Anyway, um, I, I normally <laughs> wouldn't ask to come in here, but I'm, you might want to be sitting down. Okay. Would you like to take um, a seat so in th this this room? I, that I've forgotten the name of. The one with the the, the fireplace. <laughs> yes. Um, so, oh, I need to warn you. Okay. I made some of this the other day. But, uh, actually, let me start from the beginning. I'm not in your <laughs> Trying to be wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everything about my RP has been scuffed for the last 45 minutes. Anyway. What's RP? So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, okay, about- about the drink. Alright. Well... Before Soren... Uh... Went home... He used to make us... Uh, tea. And we would sit at the table. And we would drink it together sometimes. And... Well... I decided to try and replicate that, but... but you, there, um... There's a problem with that, you see. <clears throat> I don't know what he did to it, and... It's like culinary magic. And I have never done culinary magic before, and... I don't know what he put in it, so my first attempt was, uh, yarrow, flour, and water, oh. boiled in the fireplace. Okay. Uh, and it tasted like grass. Yes, it, it would. Uh, this one, this one is, um, uh, it's, uh, water. Uh, whatever's in the red bottle that I grab in the cafeteria every morning. <laughs> Uh, sugar, and the blue flowers that I've been collecting, um, all boiled together. And, okay. um, 
Well, you, I think I was much more adventurous with this one than the last one, and it would mean a lot to me if you tried it, because I don't want to poison my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> or, I don't right. want to poison you either, but I have something to make up for it if it's gross, I promise, and we can do okay, it together. Okay, I'm scared. okay. Well, he here's how this is gonna work. First of all, what does the thing in the red bottle taste like? Uh, fruity. Uh, it's like, um. <laughs> I, it's kind of like cherries, kind of. Maybe okay. pomegranate. Okay. It's hard to tell. So it's not something I'm used to, but it's delicious. That might be juice. Okay, that's a good start. I don't know if it's gonna make <laughs> tea, but it's a good start. Um, my, my second question is... Uh, it's not a question, but if I drink this... <laughs> if I drink this, and I collapse, I need you to take me to the infirmary. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny. That's horrifying. I don't want you to collapse, Sarvira. Well, so are they. You said I you didn't want to poison your team, so you couldn't be drinking. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> oh, it was a joke. Okay, well, Listen. I, the, my point still stands. If I collapse, you're taking me to the infirmary. <laughs> Of course, um, I, I'm only, you're only my, uh, taste tester because, well, I don't think you'd judge me for my bad tea. No, I will not and judge you for your would. bad tea. <laughs> Plus, you gave me some ones. I did. And it was good. So, uh, you know, maybe we could, um, attack that one too. The medical lessons. Okay, this first, and then I'll get to the next thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't think I'm gonna collapse, but I am gonna try a tea now. Okay. <laughs> you, you don't. You sound very worried. Okay. I am. I'll do it too. So I, well, I can tell you, it kind of tastes like the juice with a hint of grass. That's, um... <clears throat> that's a little better than grass. It is a uh, little better than grass. Uh, it's not my favorite. Definitely not what Soren made. I'll have to try again. Um... I do have something to make up for it, though, as promised. She reaches in, breaks off a piece of chocolate. Uh, mm. uh, where did you get that? Uh, well, <laughs> believe it or not, Tenebris gave me some. Huh. All right. I don't know what he was going to do with it, but he said he had too much, so... He shared. Um, it's fresh. It hasn't been in my pouch all day. Mm. But enjoy. Um, well, um, thank you. Of course. I can't see myself eating it all, and oh, well, there aren't many that I'd want to share with anyone. Um, but it would seem that the doctor is hosting some sort of, uh, nurse course, um, like understudies is hmm. what they called it, with a few other students who were interested. Uh. Has the word spread to you at all? No, it hasn't. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. He approached me the other day. And... I guess a few other students have taken him up on his offer, but... I will be there, and if you would like to be there, then... This is your invitation. Huh. Alright. Um... Do you 
known when it is. No. I imagine he'll let us know when it's time, but... <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even know which students are going to be there. But, regardless, it would be useful information. It would be. Thank you. Um. Thank you for trying my, uh... Poison? It wasn't poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> it was something, though. I can't say that I'd recommend it. Um. Definitely, uh... Don't want my team drinking it, so I should probably... Uh... Get that out of the kitchen before they find it. And drink it, and then... Oh, oh, alright. Um, I'm going to <coughs> jokes, jokes. bring this. I'm going to follow you out the door because for some reason it is impossible to leave the dorms when two things are in your hands. <laughs> the doors are just really heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no, how, are you, how will you get back into Stella? <laughs> Well, very carefully. I will get back into Stella. Alright. Um, could I mm, visit again sometime? Uh, I mean, yeah. Lumen is always open. I promise that I won't kill you. Ah. Uh, That's really poor Thank brain. you. I just meant. I really appreciate it. I just meant. I, yeah, I'm gonna. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Sorlia. <sighs> that went better than I expected.